the Raiders today uh, operates where normal Marine ground troops don't go. This was basically one of what we as the Raiders runner were trained to do. We were used for reconnaissance, which is invigorating. We'd go on recon missions on a dark night. You land, you don't know where you're going. You can't see where you're going. It's dark. It's an experience. I'd do it again. Somebody's got to do it. I've always wanted to be a Marine when I was a kid. I thought it was uh, the best outfit in the world. You want to be a Marine first off because you want to be the best. I guess I wanted to do something different. I wanted adventure. In Marsoc and the Raiders of the Second World War, uh, you always felt that you were one notch above anybody else. Well, <laughs> December 7th, 1941, the United States was attacked by Japan. So the only thing to do was to join up and make them regret it. I signed up post 9-11. I signed up for a reason, to go forth and protect America, similar to what my grandfather did in World War II. When I joined, they were recruiting a special platoon. Colonel James Roosevelt came in looking for 15 to 20 men, boots, to fill out his radar battalion. We were going into combat sooner than anybody else. I expect the radar being killed or wounded. It would be tougher, pretty rough life. And that appealed to us because we had a rough life. We were not disappointed. We were auditors. They could not tire us out. We were always superior to the others. We were better than anybody else. We were tougher. We could shoot better. We could throw grenades farther. We could do more with less because we had less. It brings you all closer together, you know. And I, I knew every one of them and loved every one of them. And I was so proud of them. I looked up to him. My platoon that I was with in the Raiders, was, we were a very close unit, almost like brothers. It doesn't take very long working with these men where you, you develop a relationship. You're a very close-knit family and you're willing to do anything for each other. Any one of these men around me now, I absolutely believe that in any moment I could ask to do something for me, they would be there, whether it be on or off duty. I never got hit by a bullet, but I damn sure picked up everything that was out there, you know. Dr. Wharton, he'd come in and he told me, he says, Harold, we're going to send you home. You've seen all the war you're going to see. And I said, oh, no, no, you can't do that. Says, They're forming new companies out here, and I want to be able to go. Nope, he says, you're going home. So after Midway and Macon Island off those submarines, and Guadalcanal, they sent me home. You're not only serving the American people, but you're serving your team. Your team is your lifeline. It's the most important thing to you downrange. There is nothing more important to you than your teammates. It comes down to the old esprit de corps, the pride in their outfit, knowing that they are better trained, better equipped better able to defeat the enemy. The Raiders today, they're so good. I've watched them. They're doing things that we never thought about doing. They're wonderful, wonderful men. I'm really proud of them. And of course, our legacy goes ahead and lives on with them. The men to my left and right, they have a sense of drive, they have a sense of pride. There's just something about them that you'll never find anywhere else. Their moral caliber and their ability to handle themselves as a normal person from their day-to-day -day life is the highest caliber of people I've ever worked with. I would go anywhere and do anything with any one of these guys that I work with. If you want to make a name for yourself, having the tag of Raider, it's always a good thing. 
a very good man. He was not drafted into that position. He was volunteered for it. That's some of your best fighting men that we had. They actually changed my life. They made me what I am today. It's been a privilege to serve our country. Yeah, it's the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. I have a great deal of pride in being a Raider. I can't imagine doing anything different. I'm very proud of them. That's the kind of guys we were.